I'm gonna show you guys how to make this super awesome, as I always say, relief sculpture made out of strips of paper, glue, you need some scissors to kind of tidy things up, and uh, you need a base, definitely. I chose black because it makes the colors pop out. So go ahead, pay attention. I'm gonna show you some cool techniques in making these three-dimensional lines, and uh, that's really it. All right, see ya. So the first line I'm gonna teach you how to make is a curve line. And to make a curve line, you need to get any kind of strip of paper, doesn't matter what you want. I'm gonna get pink. And with this pink piece of paper, I'm gonna go ahead and curve it just like it would be a curve line that you draw on a piece of paper. And just bend the tabs away from the curve, right? And make another tab. You just kind of bend it and crease it so it stays nice and sturdy. And what we're gonna do is to put it on our flat surface here, we're gonna need some glue. And when I say glue, do I mean like a whole bunch? No, I just want you to put tiny, tiny bit of, bit of glue like that. And boom, hold it down for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or maybe a couple more seconds, I'll do it. Okay, good. So that should be stuck on that paper. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. The other part of, the other line you're gonna learn about is the spiral line. That's my favorite kind of line. To do a spiral, make sure you use a skinnier piece of paper so it'll hold up that little spiral that you have. It's like hair. So what you do is you get a nice L on your hand, you pinch it with your thumb and your index finger, and you swirl it and twirl it around your finger just like that. Make sure you kind of hold it tight, all right? And then what you're gonna do is, oh, look at me, I'm about to pull my own finger off. You're gonna pull off the paper like a ring and kind of twirl it again just to accentuate that bend that you want it to do and boom, it looks like a little spring. And what I can do is I can glue it on top of here, make it come down, or maybe I just want my roller coaster, whatever kind of sculpture I'm making here, to kind of twirl around like that. And it's up to you. Only thing you need to do is just put a tiny bit of glue, guys. Don't put a whole bunch. If you put a whole bunch, guess what? It's gonna be a glue sculpture. We're not making glue sculptures. We're making paper sculptures, showing me line weight and different kinds of lines. All right, and don't forget to count to 10. What's the first one? 10. And I'm done with that. The next one is really fun. A lot of students like to make this. That is your uh, zigzag line. And to make a zigzag line, it's like making a fan. Who's ever made a fan? I haven't, but uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, what you do is you get your paper, you bend a little piece over and then you pinch it with your other hand. Then you go on the bottom part and you bend it forward and pinch it. Same thing, backwards, pinch it, forward, pinch it, backward, pinch it, forward, pinch it, ah, I'm done. So you open it up, whoa, check out that zigzag. It could be stairs going up to my roller coaster, whatever I want, it's my sculpture, so I'm gonna do what I want here. And I get a little glue, put it on the tap, Put some glue down, making sure I do my base of my line first. Count to 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, and I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on just like, if I could pick it up, gosh, I can't even pick it up. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and glue it on like that. So you. The wonderful Miss Flint has, has finished and completed her work. I incorporated some 2D design in here as well, along with my 3D pop-up little spiral lines and zigzags and curves and all that great stuff, just to give you some dimension, all right? And also, as you're working, make sure you're turning your, your sculpture so you utilize your entire space. I don't wanna see you guys working just from the front because that means the back of your sculpture and the sides of it, it's gonna be empty, right? So go ahead, have fun with it, play around with the different lines, even make up your own lines, get creative. I even put a little window in here. I don't know why I put the window in here, but it looks cool when you look through it. All right, so I'll see you guys later. Have fun.